This is a Middle Loop Quick Request. class. Hi, I'm Jerry with Middle Loop, and this is a Quick Class by Request. Since the RC Pro came out, one request for a future tutorial that keeps coming up is how do I install third-party apps on the RC Pro? In this quick class, we'll answer that question. Incidentally, the methods covered in this video also apply to the original DJI Smart Controller. A quick reminder, if you find these videos useful, we'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe in the lower right. It helps us to produce them and it'll help you to find them. Also, if you have any ideas for future tutorials, just leave a comment below. Before we get started, please note that installing any app on any device can be a risky business, especially if that device doesn't have any sort of security system installed like Norton. Please read the full disclaimer in the comments and proceed at your own risk. Middle Loop Video and Photography LLC and its employees are in no way responsible. The Google Play Store serves as the official app store for Android products. Unfortunately, I've never been able to get their installer to work on the RC Pro. It's possible that it's just not compatible with the RC Pro at this time, which is pretty typical for some Android tablets. However, I still prefer to use the apps that they have vetted. So what I do is use the Google Play Store to do my searching, copy the URL, and use another APK downloader, which is compatible. Later in this video, I'll show an alternative method that you might like better. If you're not already on the home screen, you can get there by holding down the back button and rocking the 5D button up. Open Firefox. Type Google Play in the search bar. The Google Play App Store should be at the top of the results or near it. If you're having trouble finding it using search, you could just type in the address directly, which is play.google.com slash google hyphen play. When you find it, tap on it to open. Tap the search icon in the upper right. Your cursor should already be in the search text box and your virtual keyboard should have opened. If not, simply tap in that search text box. Now type the name of the app you're looking for and tap the return key. In this example, we'll be installing Chrome. One peculiar behavior we found is that sometimes the virtual keyboard stays on the screen after hitting the return key, even though the app completed its search underneath the keyboard. To close the keyboard, tap the little down arrow in the lower right. That reminds me, if you find it difficult to navigate the screen of the RC Pro, especially when it comes to tapping on some of those really small icons, I find a stylus makes it easier. In fact, I never fly without it. Very handy, particularly on cold days when the touch screen has a hard time detecting my fingers. All right, now back to the search screen results. Find the app you wish to install and tap on it. Ideally, you'd just be able to install it from here by tapping the install button. But here's the message I get when I try. I've read this is typical when the device is not compatible with the Play Store. So instead, we'll copy the URL to the clipboard and use a different app to download it. Tap and hold on the URL at the bottom of the screen for a second. Then release and select copy. All right, now that we have the URL copied to the clipboard, let's open a new Firefox browser window. In the lower right, there's a little number that indicates the number of browser windows open. Tap on it and then tap on the plus button to open a new window. In the search bar, type APK downloader and tap return. You'll get several results. Choose the one you prefer. Just keep in mind that we're looking for one that allows for downloading from a Play Store URL. I'll put a link in the description to the one used here, but please read my notes. This one has some disadvantages regarding adult ads and daily limits. Tap to open. Depending on which downloader you use, your experience may vary. Find where to paste the URL, tap and hold for a second and then release, and select paste. For this downloader, we need to tap the Generate Download Link button. It does its thing and then we can select click here to download. Now you get a prompt from the RC Pro. Tap download and wait. The download arrow at the top of the screen indicates that the download is in progress. When done, you'll get a message that the download is complete. You could try opening the file from here, but you might get this message if you haven't set up Firefox to allow it. You could change that setting here, but I prefer leaving it set that way and then locate the file that was downloaded and install the app from there. So let's do that. Get back to the home page, push and hold the back button, and rock the 5D button up. Tap the Files app, then scroll down to the download folder and select it. Find the file you just downloaded, in my case I only have the one. Tap on the file to install it, 
and read this message. If you agree to take full responsibility, tap Continue. You'll be prompted to install the app again. Tap Install. You'll get an installation progress bar, and that's it. Your app is installed. So let's click Done, go back to the home page, and you'll probably find the app you just installed on the second page. Instead of using the URL method and the Google Play Store, there are a number of websites like APK Pure and APK Mirror that might be simpler if you trust those sites, and then you wouldn't need a second service to download the file. You might also consider using your computer to download from a site like that, where you can then use a security system like Norton or something similar to scan for threats. Then use a USB drive to copy the file over to the RC Pro and install it from there. That's it for this tutorial. Again, if you haven't already and you find these videos useful, please subscribe. And if you want to get notified whenever we post a new video, be sure to click that notify bell. If you'd like to learn more about Middle Loop, click Show More below, where you'll also find the tools we use in producing this video and, of course, that handy stylus I mentioned earlier. Thank you, have a great day, and happy flying!